All right, in this video, we are still talking about stickers, but what I want to show you is how you can take a photograph and then create a cut file that goes directly around the, the photograph. So in this case, I'll just take a goofy photo of myself and we're going to uh, be in Photoshop. So I just found this image, copied it, pasted it, did a subject select, or select subject, and then uh, created a layer mask to get the background off of there. So it was just the shape that I want uh, to create a sticker from. So from here, I also have an Illustrator file open. Uh, so this is just a eight and a half by 11 document. And we are going to take your photograph and you're just going to drag it into Adobe Illustrator and then let go. So this is a pretty low quality file. So if I zoom in, you can kind of see it's really pixelated, but it's okay. I do not want to make any adjustments in Illustrator yet. So I'm going to leave this file here. It's a small dude, 0.97 by 1.04, so inch by inch approximately. So this is where we're going to make some adjustments. I want to make a copy of this layer. And there's a couple ways you could do it. You could take and drag your layer down into the plus sign and it makes a copy. I'll just delete it to make show you another. Or you can control or command J for the Mac. Control J is make a copy. So I made a copy and what I want to do is make sure that you are in the photograph, not the layer mask. So make sure that you have that white box around the photograph. What we're going to do is we're going to make an adjustment and we're uh, going to change the exposure to turn all of that photograph black. So just go to image, adjustment, exposure. And you get this dialog box for exposure. And if you take the exposure, drop it all the way to the left, it turns everything to black. How easy is that? Hit OK. The reason we're doing this is we're going to do an image trace and it's easy to do an image trace when it's black. So then you're going to take that layer, do the same thing, drag it over into Adobe Illustrator and land it. I didn't want you to change the size of anything yet because we need to keep them the same size. Now from here, I'm just going to zoom in. We're going to do an image trace. So in your properties panel, go to image trace. If you don't see it there, always find it under the window panel. Uh, let's see, image trace. This one is going to be a silhouette, which is just black and no white. You could leave the default settings, but I always go into the image trace panel, go to the advanced settings take the corners and noise down to zero. You could, for this, adjust the threshold a little bit. It grabs less or more information. I'll just drag it down a little bit just to get a little more detail on the edges. That looks good. And then in your properties panel, hit expand. Make sure you hit expand. It's important. Okay. So if I hit the little reverse swap and fill you get the stroke outline i'm going to change the stroke weight to 0.25 so it's nice and skinny and then i'm going to see how it lines up so i'm going to drag it over my photograph and you can see that it's cutting right on the line looks pretty good but let's go ahead and do that offset path I see mine here, so I'm going to click Offset Path. The default is 0.15. You can see that that is, looks pretty wide, so I'm not going to have it that wide. I'll 0 0.05, hit the preview. That's better. I'm going to go 0 0.03. Preview again. That's even better. Make sure the joins is round. Hit OK. 
this original guy. Oh, they're grouped. Let's ungroup them. So then we just have the one. I'll delete that dude. So now we've got the start of our sticker. Then we have to make sure we're changing that into the right uh, cut contour stroke. I'm sorry, swatch color. So any color, double click, make sure it's labeled cut contour, capital T for cut, no space, capital C for contour, and then make it spot color, hit OK. Solid, good to go. Now this is a sticker ready to go. Now I can select it all, make it bigger if I wish. Load up the page, 8x8, bunch of little stickers, why not? That's it. I hope you use it. Have fun.